Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Bach. Welcome to Journals Out Loud, the show where we answer all sorts of questions that you send in. Today's topic is how to make new friends, something that I think we've all been asking ourselves since the dawn of time because none of us have any friends. Well, no, oh! I, I'm, I'm talking about myself here. So uh, welcome to Journals Out Loud. On the couch today, we have Anders. Howdy. We've got Shira. Hi. We've got Ian. What's up? And we've got Tara. Hey. If you want your questions <laughs> answered by us, please leave them in a comment on this video. Go to Twitter, hit us up there, Journals Network, or uh, go to uh, askjenny.tumblr.com because that's where we get most of our questions from. Without further ado, question one from you guys. I recently moved to a new state and I'm nervous to start a new school. I'll be a junior and I'm worried that I won't make any friends. I just want to know how to get people to like me and how to spark a convo and make friends. Okay, Tara, go for it. Well, I didn't move to a new state, but I did move to a new school when I was a junior because I hated my public school and I switched to a private school. And I was very nervous because it was a lot smaller. It was only like a hundred and something kids. And Whoa. I was really, yeah, oh, oof, yeah, it was small. But it was good. Um, and I was really nervous that no one would like me because I felt like an outcast at my public school. And that's kind of like ultimately why I left. And so... Um, I was just like really worried about how do I act? What do I do? And then honestly, the best thing, like I know it's cliche to say, but you really just have to be yourself, yourself as much as possible. And like, don't try to say things that like you want people to hear because I did do that. And then I got caught with it so much. So it's just like, you really... <laughs> Like, you can't be fake. Like, you really can't. Like, I learned that within the first, like, couple of weeks that I was there because everybody was very, like, private school-y. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was different. But once I just kind of, like, let go and just be myself, they really thought I was cool because I was so different from them and they wanted to know more about me. And so that's kind of, like, my little tidbit of information. Yeah, I mean, I think you really, unless you're, like, an asshole, <laughs> <laughs> um, like you. you definitely you should always be yourself and if you are an asshole now is a great time to stop being an asshole um and then people will probably like you but it doesn't sound like that's your problem um yeah i i think that i agree with what you said thank you <laughs> so sweet. end of, think, end of comments your years like a great time to decide to stop being an asshole like as far as where yeah. your life's about to jump off yeah yeah but i mean as far <laughs> it's as hard, it's hard to tell someone friends. who's like five like can you <laughs> 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 no but i um i definitely know as far as like getting to meet people can be really hard like everyone's got their cliques in school and everyone's got their own group and their own topics of conversation and everything but um and this may not work for if you have a, a private school of like a hundred or so people yeah but um usually in larger schools they have a lot of clubs they have a lot of like yeah theater groups things like that and that's a great place to find people that have similar interests to you and while at first um you may not be able to relate to them that much Honestly, just exposure to people typically makes them like you. So, <laughs> yeah. also too, like any just like school, like sports events or social events are like good opportunities to just talk to people. I think you don't think so. I think it is if it's the right the right ones. But like sometimes I was terrified to go to sports events because I'm just like I'm going all alone or I go with a friend. Like what if like my friend kind of like goes away for a second that I'm all by myself but and like do I talk to someone? Do I knock to someone? Like that's, that's how you hard. Well, you just like go with in them. high school. That's yeah. so scary. What are you talking about? I was just I was terrified of sports in general, <laughs> um, or anything athletic. I will say if for some reason you're like junior year goes by, senior year goes by, you're like man, I really didn't connect with anyone. It does get better after high school too. Um, sometimes high, I've met a lot of people who are just like high school just wasn't my thing. So if for some reason you like at the end of the day are like I'm just really not connecting with anyone, there is potential that it just is the high school you're at. Yeah. That's totally true. And I think that one thing to remember forever is that high school isn't real life. <laughs> yeah. Not like at all, basically. Um, <laughs> once you hit college, that's like the beginning of real life. And then you get out of college and you're like, oh, my God, this is what the world is. Um, so uh, on that level, I wouldn't worry too much about like it, it's, there's no race. It's more about, well, I'm feeling lonely. Like That's the part where we need to step in and say, well, what can we do about this? You mentioned be yourself. I think that's great advice. And I think it's often advice that people say, but there's no real 
guidebook to being yourself unless I'm wrong. Yeah. So, well, no, there isn't, but you just like, you have to try a lot of different things. That's kind of like when they say be yourself, how do you be yourself? You have to go out and try stuff. So like if you do go to a sporting event and you don't really like it, then maybe that wasn't the thing for you to do. But like maybe you go to like a certain party that has a certain group of friends. Maybe that's your thing. Or like maybe going to the clubs, like Andrew said, like there's certain things that in high school, although it's going to be really scary, you do have to try and that will help you learn how to be yourself. So uh, you got ow. it. You, 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 I, I'm I, so proud of myself for no, just that. Like, I came full circle. <laughs> yes, I laid down the trail. You picked it up. You went yes. for it. Thank you for that. That is the key. <laughs> Be open to experiences, and that's how you figure out who you are, and subsequently, how you find people who are like you and want to be your friend. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's a club, join the club. That's kind of the, the, the basic rule. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, we're moving on to the next question. Uh, I'm a 21 year old woman and I have no friends. In my teen years, I completely isolated myself because I was depressed. Now I want to have lots of good friends, but don't know how to deeply connect with people anymore. Where can I make friends other than school? Interesting. Ugh, it's so hard to make friends as an adult too. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, so who here is an adult? Raise your hand. Uh-huh, well, all right, so. What society deems me to be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm legally an adult. Yes. Yeah. Now, we've all, therefore, had experience <laughs> making friends as adults, so what did yes. we do? Jobs. All right, that's one thing. For <laughs> sure. get a, yeah, get a job. We got one. Stop we trying to get one. friends, get a job. All right, all right. So that is one great way, right? Because yeah. it's a bunch of people in close proximity dealing mm -hmm. with and succumbing, overcoming hardships, right, together as a team. Yeah. Exactly. And you make money, too. Hey. If you just make friends, a lot of times when you just make normal <laughs> friends, they're not going to give you money. And if you keep asking them for money, they'll stop being your friends. <laughs> it's a lose lose situation. Um, no, I actually, okay, I have something to say about this yeah. because I met someone who she finished college and then moved after that. And she didn't know anyone to the new place she moved. She had a job, but she wasn't even meshing with people at her job. So she joined an adult kickball league. Whoa. And she, like, is best friends with everyone in her adult kickball league. So join an adult kickball league. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that a lot. Yeah. That's great advice. There needs to be more stuff for adults like that, I feel. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, there's a lot of stuff like this for adults. And, like, you yeah. could look online. Like, uh, okay, go for it. Oh, I um, well, because we're in California, I saw this on Facebook the other day, and there's um, uh, a getting high painting class. Oh, my God. Where everyone comes in, and you oh bring God. your own weed, and it's all ages. Like, it's tons oh, of I've people. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, it's 21 and up, and they just go there, and like it's like puff, pass, and paint. That's what it is. Wow. But it is so dope. It looks so cool. And I'm like, I want to go so bad because it's just like everyone's just like really like chill and happy. And like. This is legal in California, by the way. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> just. For those of you at home. <laughs> or just um, like regular paint yeah, night, something like that. Up. But, you know, what, puff you, pass and paint. You describe that as a class. How, how, what do you learn in the in the getting high and painting class? No, it's not It's not really like a class. What, like what you like go you there learn? and like they can like teach you to like paint a certain thing or you just yeah. do it. But like you're so high so you're thinking like what you're painting is awesome. It's like the most amazing <laughs> experience ever. So, you start like, painting so, so that, that's kind of a more extreme example. But that being said, like there are like more chill ways or I guess that. Or go to a bar. Chill, but yeah, I mean, it depends on how old you are. But if you're an adult, you're 21, 21 and over, bars bar. could be a place to go. It depends on the bar. Like, for example, I could go to most bars and probably be stuck in the corner not meeting anybody. But if I went to an <laughs> arcade bar, I'd have a great time and meet a lot of cool people. Right? Yeah, find so. like a find like a niche bar. If you're like trying to like make friends, like trivia nights, for example. Oh, oh, oh. like tr game bars. I still want to. Yeah. I've never been. I want to go. Let's go. Oh, with those. Dude. If you go to like. Have what? you been to one? I went to the one in Santa Cruz at Woodstock's Pizza. Okay, but like we need one here. <gasps> I've well, heard about we'll that. We'll find one here. Okay, let's That's find one. Saying. All right, all right so all right, all right. we're all gonna go to a uh, a big quiz bar, and that means you can too, and it's you will meet people. Yes. But this is a great <laughs> echo of that first question, right? It's being yourself in a public space, right? Mm -hmm. It's finding something that you're into. Yeah. You wanna make a point? Yes, Yeah. I, I was gonna say, ooh. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, um, as long as like you you know what you're like, you find out your passions when you're young in life, and it's really cool if you can uh, find where you can do that like outside your home. Like as long as you're getting out of your house and like, oh, I'm going to acting classes. I meet people there. I come to JOL. I spend time with you lovely people. No. Um, I I sometimes ask for money on the street while playing guitar. That's like eh, sometimes you meet people. Like as long as you're getting out of the house and like making an active effort to get out there. Um, I think you'll you'll always find someone. Yeah. Uh, but also, she was saying that that she had a history of uh, being depressed in high school, and that can also that can make it really hard to get out and meet people because sometimes you don't want to get out of bed. Um, 
And in those cases, it can be it can be incredibly hard to meet people while suffering from depression or other mental illnesses. Um, but I would say there's a wealth of online communities available to people. You don't even have to leave bed to socialize. You can you can always find someone to talk to. Um, so I think those are resources we should acknowledge in our you know our, our new age of technology. No, absolutely. absolutely. Ever heard of Reddit? <laughs> well, even just like, yeah, yeah. no, yes, yes, and no. <laughs> video, no, but just kind of jumping off that, like, I do know a bunch of people who like met some of their best friends like via online, which is like, it's not something I could do personally, but I, if it works for a person, like, it works for a person, right? So yeah. I know a bunch of people who met through Gaia Online back oh. when Gaia Online was like a huge thing. I remember that. What? Yeah, yep, that that was a thing. Still kind of is surprisingly. Oh yeah. So there's a space for you somewhere, either in the digital realm or the physical realm, and uh, people are waiting for you. So head on over, be yourself, be open to new experiences, just kind of like the first question, honestly. And uh, on that note, we're moving to the third and final question. Mm -hmm. I have some casual, oh, we talk in class, but that's it, friends. But I haven't really made any long-lasting bonds. The girls I really want to be friends with are already in a pretty tight-knit group. I would love to be best friends with them, Ugh. but mm -hmm. three's a crowd, and I don't want to intrude. <laughs> And yes, I could make other friends, but I like these ones better than my other friends. Do you have any tips to be more likable to them? If they're not already going to put you in your group, stop trying because it's just so... Ugh. Well, I mean... I, I think this is the log line to Mean Girls, actually. <laughs> 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 oh, but that's a great question, though, right? Like, did she really break into that friend group or no? Because, I mean, I don't think she didn't... I, um, okay, tell you what, you haven't seen Mean Girls. Maybe you have, but on that note, in case you haven't, we're not going to spoil that for you. I'm so, pretty sure everyone has seen Mean Girls. If they haven't, they've been living under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mean Girls. I know, and everyone should see it. This is an official endorsement. But um, <laughs> They're making it a Broadway show. Oh, like, my gosh. What? Okay, that's, that's There's fantastic. There's already Heathers. Why do we need exactly Heathers, but again? Oh, because it did well the first girl. time? <laughs> this is fair. All right, so. Anders, how would you answer this question? Yes. Oh, um, all right, let's see here. <laughs> okay, so uh, you mentioned um, I could make other friends, but I like these ones better than my other friends. It sounds like they like their friends better than you being the other friend. Like, I think in their situation, you are the other friend. And that should be... I mean, you, you need to acknowledge that, that the way that you're looking at certain individuals as like, well, I want to be friends with these people, not these people they may be making a similar decision about you. And if people are thinking that about you, do you want to be friends with them? Is that an effective relationship for you that's healthy? You know what I wonder? I wonder how well does she know them? Because maybe she like perceives like that they're like this amazing group. But like, what if she really actually got to know those people individually and find out that she really actually doesn't like them? She just likes like the perception or like the idea of being yeah. friends with them. Well, I think she should focus on the like, oh, we talk in class people because those people you can just like ask to hang out or I always like, cause I have a lot of, or like in high school, I had a lot of people that were like that. Like we talk in class, but didn't hang out outside of school. So I think if you talk to them more and more, you're going to find something that you have in common and then be like, oh, hey, let, like, let's go do something. Let's go yeah. do that. Actually, that's a great point, right? Like the people that you've already started somewhat of a dialogue with in a class, there's no reason that that can't expand. And it's just kind of on maybe you to make that expand, to explore if that's worth expanding. Mm -hmm. uh, I've said that word a lot. Um, <laughs> if you ask them out, right? In, well, not in that way, but if you say, hey, you know, I'm having a cool movie day or whatever, like I'm having some friends over, do you want to come? And they say, yes, that's a great opportunity to move from we talk sometimes to, well, maybe we talk every day, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I Honest, yeah. I, whoa, words. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would say go for it, honestly. Like, just start eating lunch with them, see if it's a good fit, like, try to hang out with them as much as possible, and it'll become apparent pretty quickly, like, if you guys are vibing or not. Like, I had a lot of people, My I had a friend group that was pretty tight-knit senior year of high school, and then there was one guy who, like, just started eating lunch with us, like, every day, and he's, like, one of my best friends, like, still to this day, so I would say just, just go for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... You know, we got to wrap it up real quick, but I, I think it's really important to remember that as much as you feel that you're being put in a box, you are maybe putting other people in boxes as well. You don't need to put anyone else in a box. Anyone could be your friend if you think that they're cool and you want to get to know them better. Just a matter of reaching out. Just like, uh, you know, these people aren't reaching out. And, uh, you know, I think Tara mentioned it's great to get to know them individually. That might be easier than getting to know them as a group. Uh, maybe start there if you're really, you know, into this and want to explore it. But really, the options are wide. Um, I think it's important to just not think of people as the sometimes people 
explore them. See if they're there for you on a deeper level, maybe. And on that note, thank you for writing in. Please leave a comment. Please reach out to us on Twitter. Please leave a question uh, at askjenny.tumblr.com, which is where we get most of our questions. Thank you all to the panel for answering these questions. Catch you next time. Bye.